take up the nucleophilic addition reactions of ammonia derivatives. Ammonia derivatives are obtained by replacing one of the hydrogens of ammonia by certain groups. Like when you replace one hydrogen of this ammonia by an alkyl group, what you get is NH2R, it's a primary amine. Then, when you replace one of the hydrogens of ammonia by OH group, hydroxy group, the compound that you get is called hydroxyl amine. Then, the next one is, you, what you get by replacing one of the hydrogens by NH2 group, this is hydrazine. It's a very good reducing agent. Then in hydrazine, in hydrazine, when you replace one hydrogen group by a phenyl group, phenyl group is C6H5. This is called phenyl hydrazine. For the next one, we are going to replace two of the hydrogens of the phenyl group by nitro groups. I will show it structurally. Phenyl group is nothing but the benzene ring here. In that, two of the hydrogens at the second and fourth positions are replaced by nitro groups. So this is called 2,4-dinitro phenyl hydrazine. For the next one, we are going to replace in hydrazine one of the hydrogens by CO. We are going to replace one of the hydrogens by CO and H2. So this is called semi-carboside. All these compounds may be very new to you except the primary amine. So you have to spend some time learning the formulae and the names of these ammonia derivatives. That is the first step in learning the nucleophilic addition reactions uh, of ammonia derivatives on carbonyl compounds. First, you should be very familiar with the names, uh, names and formulae of the ammonia derivatives. Now, I will explain to you how uh, I mean, the nucleophilic addition reaction takes place. I am going to represent all the above ammonia derivatives this way. NH2 is it where is it represents the rest of the molecule and it is NH2 which is involved in the nucleophilic reaction. Let me take general formula of an aldehyde here and the C double bond O is polarized as usual with a negative charge on the oxygen and a positive charge on the carbon. Now in this ammonia derivative, nitrogen with its lone pair of electrons makes a nucleophilic attack on the carbon. So when it does that, the ammonia uh, nitrogen of the compound gets a positive charge. So you have a negative oxygen there and a nitrogen uh, of the uh, ammonia derivative gets a positive charge. So what happens is one of the hydrogens that is attached to the nitrogen will migrate to the negative oxygen. So you will be left with H then NH is that OH. We are not required to discuss the complete mechanism here. This, so I am not uh, giving you all the details of the reaction mechanism. But this is what we are, uh, we are supposed to know to write the product of the reaction between a carbonyl compound and an ammonia derivative. So you once you get this, you know this compound immediately eliminates a molecule of water. Before that, I should uh, tell you that all these reactions are acid catalyzed. The reactions between 
carbonyl compounds and ammonia derivatives are acid catalyst reactions so the hydrogen of attached to the nitrogen and the oh group goes away as a molecule of water water is eliminated and what you are left with is r ch and you know there is no oh here and there is no hydrogen here so i will show it as double bond n is it so you, this carbon gets a double bond there you this is the product of the reaction i suppose it is clear to you the um, in the ammonia derivative nitrogen using its lone pair of electrons makes a nucleophilic attack on, on the positive carbon so the nitrogen gets a positive charge there in the addition compound and one of the hydrogen attached to the nitrogen leaves it and joins the negative oxygen so you are left with nh here with z and then this becomes oh this addition product immediately eliminates a molecule of water on its own catalyzed by uh, the acid and so you are uh, getting rch double bond n z as the product now i will show you an easy way of learning these reactions this is uh, try uh, understanding the reaction as a nucleophilic addition reaction now i'll show you how to write the product in a very simple way now i'll show you the, show you the reaction between an aldehyde and a primary amine we can bracket the oxygen of the aldehyde and hydrogen of the ammonia derivative and remove a molecule of water you know this reaction takes place in the presence of uh, acid so remove a molecule of water and write the rest of the um, mean molecules in both compounds with a double bond between carbon and nitrogen and you get the product these products are called amines that is the products obtained by reaction of primary amine with aldehydes and ketones are called amines now actually uh, you might have seen that in all in writing all the ammonia derivatives i specifically wrote them as h2n not nh2 but h2n and the rest of the molecule as z this is the reason when you uh, practice to write them like that while writing the reaction to get the product you can just circle the oxygen and the hydrogen together remove it as a molecule of water and write the product this is one of the ways of learning the reactions um, in a simple way and writing the correct products now it will be very simple for you if you follow this format with uh, uh, I mean uh, other ammonia derivatives on any of the carbonyl compounds i'll give you a list of reactions now i am going to give you propanone so write the propanone propanone as this way in this way with the oxygen at the extreme right and then at the extreme left of the amine you write hydrogen and h2 and hydroxyl amine so complete the product write h plus on the arrow mark complete the reaction removing molecule of water put a putting a double bond between the carbon and nitrogen you get the compound so this way you can um, write the product for all the reactions that i am going to give you now please try to do them on your own and then check with the uh, products that i write on the board and i will give you a brief explanation for that next one let me take uh, ethanol ch3 cho plus hydrazine third one is we can have methanol plus phenyl hydrazine we can have propanol plus 24 dinitrophenyl hydrazine 
I'll show it as a formula here. C6H3NO2 twice. However complicated it looks, if you follow the format, you will be able to write the product without any mistake. The last one will be a general formula of a ketone. with semi-carboxide. You can pass here, write all the products on your own and then come back to listen to the explanation. I hope you could write all the reactions uh, without mistakes. Now verify with what I have written on the board here. The first one is obtained by reaction between propanone and hydroxylamine. These products are called oxymes. The general name is oxime. So the, this particular one is oxime of propanone. Next one is the reaction between ethanol and hydro, uh, hydrazine. And the products have a general name hydrazone. So this one is hydrazone of ethanol. Next one is the reaction between methanol and phenyl hydrazine. The products are called phenyl hydrazones. And this one is phenyl hydrazone of methanol. Next we have the reaction between propanol and 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. The products are called phenyl hydrazones. I'm sorry, 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazones. I have not written the name due to want of space there. We will call this particular compound as 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazone of propanol. Here I would like to say something. If you mix these two reactants, add appropriate quantity of acid and heat it in a water bath, you would see a yellow solid separating out. This is a reaction which is taking place within a very short time. And so, this is used as a laboratory test, confirmatory test for a carbonyl compound. This is a reagent that is available in all the labs, 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So, you can add it to the given carbonyl compound, given organic compound, and then add the appropriate quantity of acid, heat it in a water bath. If you see a yellow solid separating out, you can confirm that the given organic compound is a carbonyl compound. It could be an aldehyde or a ketone. The last one is the reaction between a ketone and a semi-carboxide. The products are called semi-carbazones of the given aldehyde or ketone. I suppose now you find it easy to write the products obtained between by the nucleophilic addition reactions of any of the given um, ammonia derivative on aldehydes or ketones. Having learnt the nucleophilic addition reactions of carbonyl compounds, do the short assignment given here. If you are able to write the correct answers for these questions, you will, be feel, you will be feeling confident to attempt similar questions in the exam papers. To derive full benefit of the session, please make a sincere attempt at writing the answers on your own and then you can verify with the answers in the solution that follows. You can verify with the answers given here. I would like to say a few things. In the first question, phenyl hydrazine was given as NH2 dot NHC6H5. Please make sure that you rewrite it as I showed you as H2N dot NHC6H5. This way you will not make a mistake while writing the uh, equation. You can uh, avoid circling that O and H2 um, in the final answer in the exam paper, you can either do it mentally or do it as a rough work and then show the equation as I have shown here. That is only for uh, the sake of writing the equation correctly and for you to make the learning easy for you, I showed it that way. You can avoid it to the extent possible. For the second question, hydrazine was uh, given as N2H4. That is how hydrazine is normally represented. 
but here you have to write it as h2n dot nh2 for writing the equation correctly. Your second question requires you to write only the structures of the products, but it will be difficult to straight away write the structures. So you can write the equation, no harm in showing the reaction and then you can mark the product this way and write the given name. The name that you have given in your question paper, you can write it here. So that way it will be easy for you to write. It's not possible to write the structure straight away. So I suppose uh, you have uh, listened to the session and uh, derived full benefit out of it. Thank you.